We know abortion rights remain a major issue around the country and across the Carolinas. And in South Carolina, weeks of gridlock between the state house and the state Senate over a new abortion ban has ended with no compromise. WCNC Charlotte's Julia Kaufman in the Palmetto State with what killed this bill. Let's start with some background. So when Roe v. Wade was overturned earlier this year, many South Carolina lawmakers wanted to pass stricter abortion laws. But after Republicans couldn't agree how far they were willing to go, the legislation failed. Current South Carolina law allows abortions up to 20 weeks of pregnancy. The fetal heartbeat law passed in 2021, banning abortions at about six weeks, is currently held up in court. Now the fight among Republicans on passing a stricter abortion law this year has ended without a bill. It was essentially take it or leave it in the conference committee. It was one or the other. We couldn't do very much because you got amateurs over there playing legislative strategy and they don't know what they're doing. Senate Majority Leader Shane Massey explaining some House members wouldn't budge on their differences. It was the House's version of the bill, a near total abortion ban with limited exceptions for rape and incest versus the Senate's version, keeping the ban at six weeks, but further limiting some of the exceptions. I was really very hopeful that we were gonna be able to pass something that was gonna save lives. The three Republican women of the South Carolina Senate previously said they would not support an abortion ban without exceptions for rape or incest. Senator Richard Cash supported the House's total ban. We're gonna say it's okay to kill that baby at uh, six weeks, not at 13 weeks. You can kill the baby at 13 weeks, but not 20 weeks. 20 weeks, but not 20, because we've decided. Many of the Republicans calling themselves anti-abortion were upset with the inaction Wednesday, calling it a missed opportunity. That bill's no surprise. Our inability to pass it was the surprise. As South Carolina awaits the state Supreme Court's ruling on the fetal heartbeat law, state lawmakers will have to wait until January to introduce any new bills on this issue. In Fort Mill, Julia Kaufman, WCNC Charlotte.